So you've been looking at buying a new phone, camera, piece of technology, whatever it is that you've got your eyes set on. You're just about to make your decision, but it's been out a year. Rumors are starting to fly around about the next version and what it has that, what, that you'll miss out on. Should you wait? Let's talk about that in today's video. Hey guys, if you haven't been here before, my name is Owen and I'm a photographer based on the west coast of Ireland. And today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't wait to buy new gear. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, it's pretty much all been photography and travel based, uh, being outdoors, hiking, all that sort of stuff. But I do have a big interest in all things technology, from computers to photography and that side, on that side of the photography thing, um, phones, everything anything if there's a gadget that's made and it's any way interesting i'll take a look at it and that's what i am um... so we all can't afford to buy the latest and greatest gear as soon as it comes out if you're anything like me that's certainly the case with how i look at things and when i do have money to spend i want to make sure that i'm spending it correctly um, that i'm not wasting it on something that i don't need or that isn't of no use to me so i tend to over obsess on the specs of things and Here's a few things for you guys to consider whenever you are, you know, thinking about buying a new piece of technology. Surely it makes sense though, spend 1500 quid on the latest version of a camera right now, or wait six months for the next version of that camera to come out and have the latest version then. But then you've got to look at it from the other side of you. If you don't have that camera for six months, what opportunities are you missing that you would have been able to capture in that period of time? And if buying the new camera now would improve your productivity straight away, is it worth losing six months of productivity just for a new piece of gear that is probably only incrementally better? I don't think so. Well, set scene, it's 2019. Um, I'm shooting on a Canon 77D everything to cover me from 10 mil to 300. Enter the Sony a7 III. I'd been asked to do a lot of um, music videos and little bits and pieces that would require some better quality video work. My Canon, I noticed, was just falling behind on certain things and not living up to the standard that I wanted to give to people really was was the driving factor of it but if i went by the sony rumors website over that period of time i would still be waiting for a sony a7 IV right now and the date today is the 22nd of august 2021 i've had this sony almost two years now this a7 III, and if i hadn't bought it i would have still been waiting for the sony a7 IV. This is where the kind of crook of my argument for not waiting for gear is. There'll always be something new on the horizon. I mean, always, no matter what you purchase, there'll be just something that just is a little bit better. A Samsung and Apple are both guilty of it. Every single year, there's a new phone. Every two years, it's a massive upgrade. But the year in between is like a, an incremental upgrade. And it's, it's not always worth waiting. And I, I always feel like if you need something to get a job done right now, there's no point in waiting. The only exception that I would have to that rule is if it isn't really gonna massively change your workflow. If you can still get your job done with what you're waiting for, with what you've got now while you're waiting, then why not wait that little bit of extra time? My prime example right now is I'm kind of in the mar market for a MacBook. But I've got this behind me and this covers everything that I want to do. And the only reason I want a MacBook is so that I don't have to haul this up to Donegal every time I want to edit from, from Donegal. No, <laughs> going the other way of things, I purchased uh, this 24 to 70 lens and literally a month after I purchased it, they released the contemporary version, which was about two or 300 euros. No, maybe 200 euros cheaper, I think it was. You f did I feel bad about that? Yeah, but did it make my lens any worse? No, probably would have been better for me with the, the funds that I have, have. But at the same time, my lens isn't any less functional than it was before that lens was announced and released. My final thought on this would be, if you've got gear already that does what you want it to do, and the upgrade isn't gonna change that, then wait. Wait until you need that upgrade. Wait until that upgrade is gonna make your workflow better, make your setup a lot better. Otherwise, I just wouldn't bother. 
If you're in the market for something new and you don't have the equipment to begin with, or if it is something that is going to extensively help you become better at your trade, whether that be a, a laptop for compiling code or a, you know, a yeah, computer, desktop computer for editing video, or if it's just a new camera for, you know, taking photographs, if that's going to enable you to do something better in your career, then get it as soon as you can get it. Don't be waiting for these upgrades because you want to hone your craft and the gear isn't going to make you better at that, but you can't practice without any gear. So you've got to just get the gear you can get your hands on now and as soon as possible and work with it. <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot, but I didn't record on the um, camera for my outro, so I'm just doing the edit now, realizing I didn't do this. So, um, yeah. What's your opinion on waiting to buy the latest tech or camera gear? Has it ever bitten you in the ass before? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm sure it's bitten some of us in the ass. It's, it's got me once or twice anyway. Um, also on that, if you liked the video, give it a good thumbs up check out my Instagram and my website. They're both linked below and we're getting very close to 100 subscribers now. So go on and sub, sub to the channel if you are enjoying it. And let's try and get to that 100 before the end of the summer. And uh, hopefully next time I will remember to hit the record button when I'm recording the outro. <laughs> so surely it makes sense though. You want to spend 1500 quid on a camera body. You don't, I haven't even read that part. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I keep forgetting that. If you bought hadn't bought the body there. Nah, it's worded good in the script, I promise. <laughs> That's crap. What am I talking about? That sounds absolutely terrible, doesn't it? Be a better photographer, photographer. <laughs>